Recently I have noticed a rather problematic issue, a safety issue with this grid tie inverter. This is that if you switch off the plug or if the power was to be switched off in the house and there's still other loads connected, it still powers them. It doesn't switch off properly. <coughs> it does switch off if you are just to unplug it. Uh, it does that fine and um, it goes off. But I'll show you just now. If I plug in just a small refrigeration system, which is an inductive load, so that's on now. Uh, take a look at the voltage. Um, 238.3. I'm going to switch it off now. It's still on, and the voltage rises quite a lot. In fact, I've seen it rise up above 300 before when I've uh, when I've done this. So that is a pretty bad safety issue, um, which could damage appliances in the house if this was to be. Well, if the main breaker in the house was to be switched off because someone was doing work. Um, it's not really a problem, say, if the grid goes down anyway, because if the grid goes down, usually there's still loads of houses attached to it, so it's not like this inverter's going to power all those houses. But then if someone was doing work, just say on our cable for whatever reason, um, that would be a problem. So I'm going to explore an issue well, explore a way that we can fix this. So my solution to the problem was to put a metal oxide varistor between live and earth. And it is just there, the one that I've, that I've put in. And, and I use that in conjunction with an RCD breaker, which um, when it detects current to go to earth, um, it'll trip. And it did work. I think it worked two times during the test and then uh, stopped working. So I don't know whether the varistor has failed or this has failed. I did notice that when I was trying it once, uh, I heard a pop coming from it. But I don't know if it was the power strip or this. So I'm going to maybe add in another metal oxide varistor and... I will try and see if I can get it to work again. So the varistors that I chose start conducting at um, 270 volts, I think. Um, that's the voltage I saw noted on them. So they should be ideal for this. They should uh, hopefully um, work, but I can't see any signs of damage on it. So it might be my RCD that's failed. I mean, it still, when you switch off the power, it still does uh, trip itself. Um, when, I mean, like, if you just have it plugged in and you switch the mains off, it'll still sort of reset. I'll show you what I mean. And if I switch it off, um, it should have uh, sort of an orange indication in there, and if I switch it off, yeah, it just clicks off, so... Not sure what's happening there. Now I have confirmed that the inverter only performs this fault with resistive, no sorry, with inductive loads such as motors. With resistive loads, if a resistive load is the only thing that's in the circuit and then you switch it off, then that's no problem, it goes off. So it must be something to do with the way it's reading the voltage waveform. You see, I would have thought they would have had the common sense so that it would detect whenever the voltage rises above, like, say, 260 or 270, um, but it will switch off immediately. Um, it won't switch on again until uh, the grid is detected. But then again, it is Chinese. So what I've done now is I've just put two of them in parallel um, across live and earth. So, we'll see if that works, but it could be that this is somehow buggered, I don't know. So, let's do a test. Inverter is now set up again, 
Um, I'll wait until it's like draws some decent amount of power. Um, I'll until it's running at maximum power at that voltage. Um, then what I'll do is switch the uh, plug off there. We'll see if it cuts out. Normally, this uh, RCD would just be sitting right on top of the energy meter. Um, but um, just now I've just got a slightly different configuration, but it's still effectively the same thing. Right then, so I'm going to do the test now. 239 volts. So. I don't know if you can see that, but... No, it's not working. It must be the RCD. That's the only thing I can think of it being. So, I might need to get another one. It does draw less power as you switch it on and off, so... Hmm, now the compressor's having a fit. Right, uh, let's just... That's everything off now, so... Um, nothing should be damaged, that should be fine. But... It's going to need some more looking into. If I can't get an RCD set up to work, then... I might need some sort of voltage triggered switch um, I'm not sure how I'd implement that so that when the voltage goes above 270 volts AC it'll trigger some sort of relay on the input or output and shut the whole thing down 